Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Skyblock. And or FTP Skies. Yeah, Skyblock. Oh, it is a Skyblock map, so. Um, and I want to make a stasis chamber if I can. So let's get that kicked off. Uh, we're gonna be doing the wither fight, or not wither fight today, uh, we're gonna be harvesting ether gas. But also while I'm waiting here, let's go ahead and get ourselves a cooking pot. I'm just gonna add that to my wish list. Wood shovel. Bucket of water. And done, right? Uh, we also need, is it, is it a stove? What's it called? Yeah, stove. Um, right. I never taught it how to make a campfire, but that's honestly not something I really need. Well, at least all that often. And we also have cooking for blockheads. So this is something that... Uh, I should probably get into here soon. Oh, that's right. It requires black stained glass, doesn't it? Okay. Um, seriously, it's going to start raining right now. Can I make the... Yeah, I can make it from charcoal. Okay, cool. And... There's you. Make a furnace for me. There we go. Sink is something else I want. Really? I don't have... Terracotta, huh? Here. Uh, you. In here. There we go. And do I have a... Uh, is it the fluid encapsulator? Come on. You're still selected up here. Stop that. You can let go of the cursor. Of the... Yeah. All right, so we are going to go Ultimate Smelting Factory, can get our terracotta recipe. Hey, we have a loot bee. Cool. And then the encapsulator can go... There you are. Here. Hey, you gonna give me anything good? Actually, here. Let me... Thank you. Hey, come back here. Loot bee. Loot bee. I'm being ignored. I did not get the poppy out quick enough. Oh well. All right, let me go ahead and get myself the encapsulator now. All right. One of these. Start. Go. Clear that out. We are going to grab this thing. And... We're going to teach you how to make... Bucket of lava. Bucket of water. Nope, not that recipe. Uh, this one. Am I going to need, like, um, I don't have milk stored up yet, so let's move point. Oil from Mad Astra. Fuel bucket. I don't think I need to worry about that quite yet. I uh, don't need buckets of latex. Although that wouldn't be a bad idea, honestly. Uh, latex, right? But it's got to be thermal latex. This one. Because I do plan on moving this setup here relatively soon. I'm going to have my refined storage system handle the latex, and that way whenever I need rubber, I can just request it. I may not ever actually need rubber, though. All right, input, output, auto-eject, recipes, there we go. And now let's go ahead and teach this thing how to make a sink, because I completely forgot <laughs> that cooking for blockheads was in this pack, and all those different ways of been making water so far, I can just do with this. A one block source of water. Because sinks are amazing that way. And there you go. So let me go ahead and get myself a sink. Should probably upgrade my thermal encapsulator here soon too.
Okay, um, right. Processing. How slow is that machine? Or is it messed up somehow? Wouldn't be surprised if it's messed up somehow. Uh, no, actually, no, it's done. Okay, it's just slow. Definitely have to speed that thing up. Um, right. Or not. It's, um, hmm. Still says processing. But there was nothing in the machine, right? What happens if I give you... Here, let's just, uh... Where are you going? You bastard. You utter bastard. Okay, stop that. Right? There you go. Quit eating my buckets of water. Now you, um, need a tank. Just, uh, you're empty, right? Yeah, okay. Now, actually, here, let me try it this way first. Hey! Okay, there we go. Now I got the water out of there, so it's not going to mess with anything. Alright. Problem solved. Um, let's just cancel everything. There's our sink now. So that got us a few extra quests. Um, yeah, all in here. Egg sandwich, some experience. Skillet, raw pasta, and some experience. Sink gives us a fluid card and a bucket of axolotl. Okay, cool. And then a heating unit for the oven, which will make it so it can run off of energy instead of, fuel, instead of fuel, and then some coal. All right. So I was doing that because I was waiting on the components from my stasis chamber to get done. i uh, just put that away for now. Same with the axolotl. Raw pasta. And can use it to make all sorts of stuff. And how hard is it to make? Ah, cutting board recipe. Okay. So here, you just go away for now. There's that. Uh, can I make another... Another stove? That way I have one for my cooking pot and one for my skillet. Sheet metal from dust water. I completely forgot that mod was in here. Hmm. I, the kind of aesthetic in my base so far, I don't think industrial or industrial decor would do really good with that. So let me go ahead now. We're going to grab our jetpack. And we're going to go over here to our boss fighting platform, right? Well, where we fought the wither boss, anyway. And down we go. Uh, this, I'm probably going to set up for... I almost said for wither uh, farming. We have alternate ways of doing that, though, where I don't have to worry about that. So let me go ahead. And we're going to need a couple of these. Main power. Very good. Six... Stasis chamber. Very good. Now I need to hook up my fluid laser base. Let me go ahead and... I'm going to grab polished andesite for this. Right. Here. Jump working area. Boom. So... Right? Nope. Actually, that is just one block over, right? Yeah. Oh, dang it. It's holding shift while scrolling, and I just completely messed this thing up. Uh, here we go. Items. There we go. So, fluid laser base goes here. 
you can have the purple lens. And now we need our laser drills. They will face away from me. There we go. And here, uh, turn that off. Now we can see the particles. Okay. They go in a three by three pattern here. This is the bottom row, middle, and then the top row would be here. And you can do that on all four sides. And then you can actually have them above and facing down as well. And if you can somehow power it, you can actually do another layer inside, you know, this airspace here. Just not really required. Main power. Let me grab some universal cables. I mean, if I need an obscene amount of ether gas in the future, then yeah, sure. Uh, speaking of which, ether. Gas. There we go. Minimum Y, negative 64, max 256. Biomes any, no blacklist, okay. Over a wither. Now comes the fun part, right? I need three of you. Also, while we're here, let's uh, make up some more of those. Oh, grabbed an extra. All right, so there's you. Go ahead and get you down, so I can. One, two, three. There's a wither. And now the stasis chamber is kicked in, and you can see that it's stuck at like one thirteen out of three hundred. And we've already gotten some ether gas. Now, let's go ahead and talk add-ons. Let me get four speeds. Let me get four efficiencies and the processing, right? I think this will work for me. Now, also, I'm going to need some ender tanks times with triple white. That'll work. Go ahead and grab one of those and that, then. Uh... Dyes, I don't really have a whole lot. White dye from bone meal, sure, we'll just make up a few of these. We'll go ahead and go for black dye from charcoal. Which actually, I've got a bunch of ink sacks, I don't need to be using charcoal for that. Oh well. One. There we go. Let's make this triple gray. Can you stack all? No, you can't, why not? You are literally identical. Thing is, one was a quest reward, and the other one I crafted, which is probably why they're not stacking. Now they stack. Up you go. Uh, let's see, output. Push to the top. We're up to 80 millibuckets now. And slightly worried about the uh, the lack of add-ons so far. Should have had at least a couple show up. Oh, you're working. Oh, this isn't chunk loaded over here. Oh, that's right. I only chunk loaded. The, uh, the core components of my base. I didn't trunk load everything I've actually got, you know, working now. Oh, really? Come on here. Don't be giving me the limits like that. Only 25 trunks? That's server friendliness that I don't need to deal with. <laughs> I'm a single player. Let me load as many chunks as I want. There we go. Yeah, see, that was fairly quick. And if my machines had been chunk loaded, then that would have been fine. Do we have any other sort of chunk loader? Uh, 
Uh, we've got the mechanism one. I know that. Do we have any other kinds? We've got... Create intertransmission chunk loader. Okay, that's a thing. We've got chunky turtles. Uh, what was the mechanism thing called, though? Because mechanism always has very unique names for its machines, and sometimes it's kind of hard to remember off the top of my head. Uh, it was around here somewhere, right? Smelter teleporter, electric pump, personal barrel, chest, charge pad, sorter, digital miner, crusher, combiner, industrial arm. I haven't actually messed with one of those yet. Nope. Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe down here? Fieldwood heater, station... Extractor painting machine. Dimensional stabilizer. That's the thing. Um, right. So let me go ahead. Oh, I don't have this machine yet. Okay. Well, we're up to 180 millibuckets now of ether gas, so we're making progress. I forgot. Oh, cool. The rain stopped. Sweet. Uh, I got these things for a reason, these add-ons. There we go. Get these things sped up. And then I'm going to add in the processing augment here. Uh, that doesn't seem to help a whole lot, but okay. Might need to put processing in the actual lasers themselves rather than the base, but... Uh, osmium compressor, right? This thing. And then we're gonna need a black hole tank as well for adding, for uh, holding our, you know, ether gas and whatnot. Hey, look, there went the thing. What was I crafting that would have had an aura, though? Hmm. No idea off the top of my head. Okay. We'll leave that for energy in the back, because why not? Uh, we're going to turn auto-eject on. Output, input. Should be good to go. And now I need to teach it how to make osmium ingots, or the uh, obsidian ingots, and refined glowstone at Mac Ingot. These guys, refined glowstone, an osmium compressor. Oh, you're going to be a pain, aren't you? Um, right, because you have to actually add in glowstone and osmium, and it has to go into two separate sides, so... And then refined obsidian ingot. There we go. So let's get up here. We're gonna have to work with something here. And the thing we're gonna work with is we're gonna grab this cable here. Actually, no, that one's fine. I need this one here. And then we're gonna grab that crafter there, cable. Crafter. Grab our machine. Move it here. Grab ourselves an exporter. And on the right hand side, we're going to have you be extra for yellow. And you're going to export osmium ingots. Hey, look at you go. And we can do that now. So we're looking at this guy. Q. 
you. Really? <sighs> right. Um... Okay, now that's fine. That was an enrichment chamber recipe. Where's my refined obsidian dust? Hmm. You. Yeah, that. Elite Infusing Factory. One obsidian dust equals... Okay. Yeah, you can't be having that. Give me one of those. It's not on exact mode. Why are you being a pain? Of course, there is no exact mode for uh, processing, so. Elite Enriching Factory. We need our Elite Infusing Factories. This one. Uh, no, this one here. Because it's we're adding diamond to it. Right, now let's try this again. Uh, dimensional Stabilizer, please. There we go. Processing those. Uh, let's go to at Mac upgrade. Grab eight energies. And you know, it's actually easier just to do that. And eight speed. Eight of you. And eight of you. All right, cool. Oh, hello, tree farm. Yeah, I know, still the back two trees only. Oh well. U plus U. Now, if I request that stuff in the future, it should be quite a bit faster, so. All right, and stabilizer is a go. Preventing area, prevents areas of the world from disappearing when not observed. We're up to a bucket of ether gas. Oh, shut up. Nobody cares. Um, it can do a 5x5 five five area. That's kind of cool. We're going to have it do a 3x3 three three around here. And probably just energy upgrades. Seeing as it seems to be having an issue with that, and I think it's because... It's uh, currently trying to pull more power. It looks like it's trying to pull more than 16,000 forge energy per tick right now. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're good. Uh, can you tell me? Oh my god, it's 18,000. Yeah, okay, no, it's... Wow, these things are not cheap. I mean, I can handle it right now because I've got the, the gas ring generator running. Damn, these things are expensive. Visual on. Right, so... Oh, I got stuck in the stasis. There we go. Right, so north. North is that way. I uh, don't need you. You or you. Honestly, I probably don't need... Yeah, no, we're good. This covers the entire thing, so okay.
All right, awesome. All right, so we should have plenty of ether gas now. My tank should be ready. It is. External storage. Just grab me like 10 of those, would you? Also, you can go away. And right. You know what? This is a really good spot for my first sink to go. On um, we'll just do you and you. You go here. Hey, look at that. Okay, yeah, we're still making a ton of lobby here. Uh eh, thirty eight hundred bucks is, isn't bad. Uh, let's go ahead and get our ender tank down here. You currently have a bucket and a half of ether gas. We'll turn you like that so you're auto outputting. You know what? Let's put this here for now. And make sure you don't connect ever again. Can I? No. Give me a tank. And thought you would there you go. I thought it'd been quicker than that. Okay. Uh you are currently empty. Did you void all your ether gas into it is, it's voiding it into the sink. That is not something I expected you to do. There we go. All right. You, you know, I don't even want to try to empty you out or anything like that. We're just going to do that. Just go away. Now I just need this external storage here. Let's set you to whitelist fluid. Ether gas, done. Tool tip, go away. That weird. Tool tips have been sticking occasionally. I'm not sure why. We go here. Let's take that off. We'll do that. Put our jetpack away. We can put this aqueous accumulator away now. Same with that. Don't need the fluid card on me. There we go. Books can go. There. We actually got room now in our inventory. Play around with that later. Still, it's going to be a laser IO thing. So. Didn't that egg sandwich like fill up my hunger? How hurt was oh because of my armor, right? My armor adds eight extra hearts. So it whenever I switch it back and forth, it really drains everything. All right, so we can get rid of you, and you now. Uh, I don't need you or you. So what is uh? Is it Supreme is what it's called? Yeah, Supreme is the ether gas one. It needs 135 millibuckets per. Okay. We've got 390. Okay, we can make one of these then. And it's going to have to craft all of the machine frames. Which we can kind of keep an eye on here. Should probably upgrade that uh, transporter pipe up top to make it just a little bit faster. Because that elite tier, I can take it to ultimate tier though. There we go. Hey, look at you. There's our quest. Uh, let me go ahead, go back to. Foregoing is. There's no reward for that one. And then there's the black hole controller, which has no rewards. Uh, yeah. 
I don't think I'm going to bother with the black hole controller for my tanks, though. Uh, what else can you make? Wither Builder. Metal, meat Allergical. Mycelial Generator. Halitosis. This is the one that I'm kind of worried about. Which, if we get Ender Dragon predictions, then we're fine. Or we can trade them from level 4 clerics, but... Yeah. There might be a way to actually get the uh, Ender Dragon prediction without needing to actually kill the Ender Dragon, but... Uh, we are going to need a lot of this stuff, by the way, because I'm going to use this to make Nether Stars. So... Let me see right here. Hey, look at you. Also level 10 now. The freaking um, experience boost 3, and I think if you combine that with fortune 3, it's even worse. It gives you a ton of experience. All right. Exporter. All right, one of you. Not that exporter, this one. And the crafting upgrade. B, B, B. Hey. Hi. You want to hang out with me for a second? So I can actually see everything you drop. Uh, I was looking through my chat log and while it's AFK and whatnot, I missed like the last nine or ten of the loot bees. Bit unfortunate. But some of the things I have seen come from them. It's probably worth messing with them. You're just taking your sweet time and dropping stuff, aren't you? Hey, there we go. We're starting to get stuff. Uh, we got Chance Cube, Ultimate Induction Cell, Element Source, Terra Steel, Broken Spawner. Lubricant Dispenser from Tetra, another one. Patheo, Patheotic Boss Bonner. Combustion Chamber from Tetra. Another Element Source, and you're done. Okay. Go away. Cool. So, decent stuff. I do need to get to the Nether, or yeah, to the Nether here again soon. Um, Matrix is what I want. I'll slide out of here. Just go ahead and give me just one of those. It'll craft like what, 16? Yeah. Okay. Oop. You go there. And we are going to click here. There we go. You get that and that. Look at you go. All right. Now the other issue is going to be. Gotta get items out of you. So how about an importer for now? I'm going to have to hook up another simulation chamber here soon as well. Because I'm going to need... Uh, we are going to blacklist matrixes. Right. And it looks like it's empty, so we're good. Uh, I need wither skeleton skulls to be making nether stars that way. Right. Because I still need two of these. Uh, those I can get from the skeleton predictions, and I can get three per. So that definitely helps. Soul sand. Um, am I making soul sand right now? For my storage? I don't think so. I'm making it over here, so it's a thing we can make, right? Just need soul soil and a pedestal. But I don't think I'm actually making it for, like, use in crafting and everything else. Do I have my flint and steel on me still? I do. Okay. Let me go ahead. Let me get two teleporters. I need teleportation core. Okay. And you. Because I'm just getting tired of the zombie pigmen uh, showing up on my island from the portal. So I deactivated it. Uh, let me get two of you, and I need, what is it, nine, so I need like 18 of you. Oh, that's right, you don't stack. 
and that's going to take a while. Uh, I need anchor upgrades as well. Um, go ahead and get two of those just in case, and I need diamond dust. You know what? I don't care. Uh, we are going to, not you, but you. And it's raining again already. What the heck? Oh, it's been like half an hour, I guess, since it started raining last time. Uh, you. Knock yourself out. You are augmented. All right, cool. Now I can make my anchor upgrades. So that way I can chunk load in the nether the, uh, the chunk that the teleporter is in. So go ahead and give me two of these. Really only needed one, but you don't stack either. You're annoying. Hey, there's our teleportation frames. So, first things first. Whoosh. We go through. Wait for the game to catch up now. Uh, should be right about... There it goes. Oh, that's... Uh, mm. This is a diamond pick, and I cannot break obsidian with it. Well, first of all, shut up. What was I using for... Was I using the packs? Oh, yeah, the packs looking to it. Okay. And yeah, I need to be careful with this. Let me go ahead and grab a point. Main power. Teleporter goes here. Upgrade. Anchor card can go here. You are going to be set nether. Uh, let's make you like red, right? I have like no blocks on me, do I? I think I just stranded myself here too, didn't I? Oh well, I can get back to the surface. I just have to remake the nether portal real quick. <laughs> Those apotheos, uh, the apotheos boss spawners are the whole reason I have this little setup right here. But I'm going to take this down right now because my inventory is full. Yeah, no transmitters within range either. Oh, incandescent inferno. All right, cool. There we go. I'm going to do that. And that now. There we go. So let's go ahead. Hello, piglin. Another portal. And... Can't tell my how far still. Yep, I was going to say, it should link up to the existing portal, so... Uh, wait, wait, wait. I put it away. Okay, I need to put stuff away here. You, you, you can go. We've got Aureus' Blast Forged Golden Helmet of Iron. Got one luminous gem out of that. Yeah, it was really not worth it. That can go... I can go ahead and put those away too. Same with that. And the chance cube. Okay. Can I have my Paxel back? I'm taking this out of here.
And then we're going to do the same again here. We're going to be like, hey, uh, flux point, main power, teleporter, upgrade, anchor, teleporter frame, set you to be nether. There we go. And so what are you good for? Fire damage, fire aspect, efficiency, Berserker's Fury. Do you have any? You do have an empty sock left. I'll do a plus one efficiency, why not? So it actually has efficiency one on it now. All right, but if we go through here, and it even loads so much quicker than actually using the portal too. That's, that's rather nice. And there's that. Hey, look at that. Sweet. All right. Um, yeah, let me put some of this stuff away. I need to maybe set up a kitchen area. What else can we do with these? Um, Right, there's the halitosis, spring black hole tank, and the star generator, black hole controller, spring black hole unit. Yeah. yeah go ahead and make that for me. I need to make an ender chest, a vanilla ender chest, which is not expected. There we go. It's complete. Oh yeah, I got a fair shard from that boss piglin. Okay. Oh yeah, more obsidian. That can go in there. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, we got our withers set up for the ether gas. Got a few more machines set up. And that basically wrapped up most of what I'm going to do here with foregoing. I don't need the Mob Crusher, the Enchantment Factory, the Mob Duplicator. Those three kind of work in tandem anyway. We need the Crusher to make Essence to run the Enchantment Factory and the Duplicator. Right now I'm getting Essence from Resourceful Furnaces. But I don't really need much unless I get into these two machines. Uh, there is some Mechanical Dirt. I might play with that later on. And the Meat Injector. That would be a pretty easy thing to pull off real quick, actually. We'll just go ahead and do that. There's that. Uh, if we look at the mechanical dirt, this guy, it requires a bucket of liquid meat per recipe. I guess I could actually teach that real quick and then we can just pop one out. And if I don't like it, it's something I can mess with later. Now, where is my, oh yeah, it's this solution table right here. Right, because we've got yeah, 3,400 buckets of liquid meat. So there we go. And now if I put this thing down, it, require, it requires, I think, liquid meat and power to run. Yeah, see, meat. So I need to keep a slaughterhouse running, which is honestly not an issue. I would need to rework this mob farm. This mob farm would probably just go away, honestly. And at that point, I probably would work with the Crusher. Uh, this guy here, the Mob Crusher. And then we can do that. Nope, not yet. Being impatient. Nope, not yet. Dang, what is your hold up? There it is. So I can run a mob crusher in tandem with mechanical dirt to uh, get drops and whatnot. Uh, let's see, we're doing a five by five here, right? So that's 25 that I would have to power as well as. You can have eight GPS cards, so we need four transfer nodes. 
to be able to power all the mechanical dirt. I don't believe they share power, which is unfortunate. That would be nice if they did, but I don't think they do. So I'm going to think about running the system as well. I don't really need a ton of mob drops right now. This is working perfectly fine. Uh, the main thing that I'm using it for right now, actually, is a little bit of mana from the experience. Uh, I, I'm so set on mob drops right now, it's not even funny. But it's something to keep track of in the future. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.